Hey there, I'm John Siskovich. Welcome to Farm Marketing Solutions. We are going to talk today about my ducks from 200 feet in the air. We're going to go up in the sky, look down at how I'm managing them, talk about how that incorporates into my farm and brewery marketing, my business marketing, and what my future plans are for the ducks. All in this video, let's get started. All right, so I'm fortunate enough to have a drone and I had been taking a lot of video and trying to incorporate it and it's always, the pictures have been so valuable. Don't get a drone for video, get a drone for photography and it changes, it totally changes the game. So I took this picture of my ducks and there's a lot of things, even just in that initial photograph that we're gonna get on the situation of how I have them organized on the farm. See right here, is my access road. It's the main road that goes back to our parking areas where my storage barn is here, the brewery is here, the road comes here, I have the, bre the brooder, uh, and then it goes down to more parking as well. So if you're a customer and you wanna walk the farm loop that we have or park your car in the back because the top is full, on your way into the brewery, you're going to stop and say, oh wow, is there ducks in there? You know, because if you to the untrained eye, at eye level, everything is green. But if you had some ducks, some animals, some movement, some interest, you're going to have people stop and you're going to passively have customers linger grazing on the farm where they're standing on the road at the fence edge and they're seeing the ducks. The ducks are playing, cleaning themselves, dipping their heads underwater. And they're like, then they continue to look up and it's green everywhere and it's beautiful and the wind is blowing and the sun is on their back and there's some clouds and a blue sky and they say, this is beautiful and amazing. I love it here. Let's go have a beer and celebrate how wonderful today is. And what we we can and we bottle here at Kemp Falls Brewing Company is happiness. It's happiness in a can or a bottle. That we want people to enjoy our products in a beautiful place that also brings them joy and giving them the whole picture of optimizing for happiness. So with the ducks, I have access to them not only from a management standpoint, but from a marketing standpoint. And then from a management standpoint, we can see here this is very clearly where the fence was. And it's been enough space because we'll zoom in here. This is like 11 ducks. You know, I, I had 20 or so. Uh, we've lost some to predators. And a year and a half later, this is kind of where we're at. Uh, this has been enough space where they haven't burned out anything with manure. The manure is really spread out. I will say this pond, the thing that's glaringly obvious, this pond right here, is very green. Every year it fills up with duckweed, and I was wondering if the ducks would eat the duckweed this year, uh, but they're not making a huge dent in it. So it's not an algae bloom per se, there is algae in there for sure, uh, but there's a lot of duckweed. Now with those ducks being in there all the time, and even if they're not pooping directly in the water, uh, everything kind of flows down into that pond, so all their nitrogen from their, their poo would get in there. I'm going to give that pond a rest, get the birds out of there. We're about to go. We usually have like a mid to late summer drought. So I'm going to move them out of here, give this ground some rest, move them. We're going to go over to Google Maps right now. And if you look up Kent Falls Brewing Company, which is my brewery, uh, you'll find that here on our farm is that uh, duck pond. You know, this is when the top blew off our greenhouse, uh, which was sad. And the farm has changed a little bit. We have another building here right now but generally speaking uh you kind of get the lay of the land and for the purposes of this video we're going from this duck pond over to the hop yard from the eastern side of the farm to the western side of the farm we're a big rectangle here's our property line here's our property line but if we zoom out the farm is from here to here so i'm going to move my birds over Across the farm, I'm just going to walk them in a chicken tractor. It's the easiest way for me to move ducks and corral them around the farm. No equipment, no trailers. I'm just going to take a chicken tractor and have one person walk behind the chicken tractor, one person walk in front. We're going to move them over here and have them manage our hop yard. They, the chickens, when you have chickens in there, they will make dust baths at the base of the hops, which damages the roots and stunts the plant. The ducks don't really dust bath that much, but they're great foragers, fertilizers, 
and uh, bug and pest control where they've wiped out Japanese beetles, slugs. We get a lot of slugs because it's so wet here. We're going to move them over there. And then as part of our farm marketing tour, you do the loop. And when you're on this side of the loop, you walk down into the hop yard and you see the ducks. And we have conversations about the ducks and the hops and how they and interact and uh, then talk about the hops that we use in the beer and the festival that we have. And I'm marketing and talking and having this engaging farm tour by having this little extra element of the, the having the ducks for interest, like that initial grab. Uh, I can then dovetail into talking about beer and selling more beer, uh, selling more beer farm products um, without having to just talk about beer all the time, you know. Uh, so that, my friends, is my duck plan. Those are some of the things I'm learning, um, how the plants are laid out, how my fence is laid out, how I might change things in the future. Once I get rid of, pile of these piles of junk and logs and soil uh, at the edge of my parking area, would I change the fence to make this area more engaging for customers? All things yet to be decided uh, here at Ken Falls Brewing Company. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. I read all your comments and it tailors how I make uh, content going forward. Um, I read them all. I can't respond to all of them because I'm a very busy guy, but I appreciate all of you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have an awesome weekend. And until next time, I will see you out in the field. Mm -hmm.